हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम विशाली धनोकार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट सो फ्रॉम टूडे सेशन वी विल स्टार्ट आर फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ प्रोसेसर आर्किटेक्चर सब्जेक्ट एंड द यूनिट नेम इज पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आर्किटेक्चर एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रो प्रोसेसर सो फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न सम बेसिक प्री रिक्वेजिट रिलेटेड टू द प्रोसेसर आर्किटेक्चर सब्जेक्ट so uh, following points are covered in this uh, syllabus in this video that is syllabus overview about microprocessor then uh, some examples related to the microprocessor how does microprocessor work then a list of terms used in microprocessor evaluation features and some advantages disadvantages and applications of microprocessor so let's start okay now uh, about microprocessor so i think you all are familiar with the microprocessor or cpu right uh, we know that microprocessor is a heart of computer system because everything every operation like arithmetic and logical operation then uh, for memory storage purpose for fetching input output instruction purpose every time we have used microprocessor right now the next is cpu so you know that cpu is a central processing unit and cpu is built on single integrated circuit and this circuit is called as microprocessor see here in this diagram so cpu cpu means is a single integrated circuit right and this circuit is located on the motherboard in the cpu right so basically this circuit is called as microprocessor so everything is programmed into this particular circuit so for that purpose we have used different assembly programming language than uh, embedded c programming language for implementation purpose so uh, the digital computer with one microprocessor which acts as a cpu is called as macro computer so basically this microprocessor work as a macro com computer because every instruction is gone through this particular processor so microprocessor is a controlling unit of macro computer and it is a one fabricated and small chip which is capable to perform arithmetic logical operations than uh, different communications between the devices so i will explain this block diagram next so see here uh, this is the example these are the examples of microprocessor that is i think you all are familiar with the intel core i9 i7 i5 yeah i think uh, we all used this kind microprocessor nowadays that is i3 i5 i7 and i9 is a latest microprocessor uh, which is coming in uh, which going to come in some uh, next years so this is a i9 microprocessor and before that there was also intel 4004 it is a first microprocessor then intel 8085 intel 8086 pentium 4 and now see in this diagram these are the some chips of microprocessor and integrated circuit of different microprocessors so uh, the first thing is how does microprocessor work so microprocessor basically uh, works on the domain that is fetch decode and execute they fetch the instruction they decode those instruction and after that execute the instruction so basically these three are main part of the microprocessor so initially all the instructions are stored into the memory right for example 2 plus 2 equal to 4 so this addition this instruction are stored into the memory right so microprocessor fetch those instruction from the memory and decode those instruction decode means computer understand binary language right so every user language is converted into the binary language so that is decoded and after that execute those instruction so after performing addition operation the computer shows you the proper output right this is 2 plus 2 equal to 4 in this way so it sends all the result to binary to the output port and it shows the result into the user language so for all this purpose we microprocessor use the resistors so resistors they use for storing temporary data okay so these are the mainly three components of microprocessor that is arithmetic logical unit they perform all the arithmetic and logical operations control unit they controlled operations means uh, to fetch the instruction from processor to memory then memory to processor so for that purpose control unit is used and register array so basically in uh, embedded system register array generally used for uh, to storing the data temporary right see in uh, programming we have to mention 2 plus 2 right a is equal to 2 b is equal to 
so at that time these values are stored into this register okay so this is a temporary storage so basically microprocessor has three components arithmetic logical unit control unit and register array and this is the input device and output device and for all this purpose memory unit is supplied to the microprocessor now the next one is evaluation of microprocessor see here this is just a chart and history of microprocessor the first microprocessor is 4004 that in uh, which developed in 1971 which is a 4 bit microprocessor and this is the first microprocessor and with speed is 6750 kilohertz okay so see nowadays we used uh, the memory storage in gb tb format then in gigahertz format speed is there then we use 32 bit 64 bit microcontroller right microprocessor so these are the previous microprocessor this is the evaluation the second one is 8085 which developed in 1976 8 bit microprocessor then uh, 1978 8086 1982 8026 so in this way in 2000 that is pentium 4 then pentium 1 2 3 4 etm 2001 so this microprocessors uh, this is the evaluation of microprocessors so as per the evaluation their size their clock speed their word length it also increases right because each microprocessor uh, developed or conquer all the remaining disadvantages of previous microprocessor they fulfill all the disadvantages of previous microprocessor and also add a new features in them right so this is the evaluation of microprocessor just go through this side so and now this is the evaluation of recent microprocessor means nowadays which microprocessors are used see here uh this is pentium 3 which uh, was invented in 1999 then pentium 4 in 2000 core to duo microprocessor in 2006 then i7 microprocessor 2013 and i9 processor in 2017 so currently i9 is the latest one and i12 is in processing okay so this is the clock speed clock speed means uh, it required how many times for executing a particular instruction so 450 to 660 megahertz and now latest one is 4.3 gigahertz right so along with uh, remaining microprocessor is in megahertz speeds but now the latest one is in gigahertz speeds now there is a particular uh, addressable memory is there see here remaining microprocessors or oldest one is uh, follow kb mb and 64 gb storage now latest one is 128 gb now again it related to virtual memory cache memory and number of cores okay so number of cores indicate that the fastness the reliability of the particular processor so this is the evaluation of recent microprocessor now uh, these are the some different applications of microprocessor so generally in 1971 the business calculator is one of the first device where this microprocessor used after that in 1977 the washing machine so washing machine had uh, used the particular microprocessor for working and for different functionality purpose after that uh, the laptop in 1981 then 1991 personal computers then all the music players mp3 ipod means everywhere every technological devices having the microprocessor right then uh, blackberry smartphones window tablet notebook a uh, digital signature like internet device automobiles ultra book so this all thing supports microprocessor nowadays every technological thing like a uh, washing machine camera microwave oven then tv everywhere the particular microprocessor is used now uh, these are the features of microprocessor so first one is the features of microprocessor is low in cost because it's reducing the overall cost of computer system it is a single integrated circuit or technology right and it generate the less heat because the microprocessor is made up by semiconductor material okay and this semiconductor material uh, generates the less heat as compared to vacuum tube devices then microprocessor has very high speed uh, due to the advanced technology they execute millions of instruction every second and also it uh, developed by metal oxide semiconductor technology and the microprocessor is the smallest one generally small size and less power and it is a portable so it usable in several application like i already said everywhere every application it used and it has a very low failure rate 
because it becoming a reliable they work like as per the programming right so these are the features of microprocessor now see here uh, these are the some advantages and disadvantages the advantages of microprocessor is it is a very high speed processing right uh, as per the generations of microprocessor the speed is depend right it is very intelligent system they work for any purpose anything right generally a uh, microprocessor used in personal computer system or laptop and other every technological things microcontrollers are used okay so we will learn microcontroller in next some sessions it is flexible in nature has a compact size okay and it's very easy to maintain it easily uh, placed in the motherboard on the cpu right <laughs> now disadvantages of microprocessor is sometimes it leads to overheating due to continuous use if you uh, if you switch on the your laptop or your computer continuously or uh, for 24 hour so at that time some heats are generated so sometimes it leads to overheating due to the continuous use the data side decide the performance right every microcontroller having different data sides different memory so as per the requirement this microprocessors are used and microprocessor larger than microcontroller right microcontroller having more features more functionality as compared to microprocessor we will learn this thing in next session and a microprocessor doesn't support floating point operations right so all the reliability purpose we will use the microcontroller so these are the advantages and disadvantages now uh, these are the some applications where microprocessor and microcontrollers are used so generally in household devices like washing machine microwave television then dvd players uh, video games then dishwasher home lighting system everywhere microprocessor is used because every application having the processor and as per the processor they processing the speed and generate the features right now in industrial applications like cars boards heavy machinery then uh, traffic control signals like then in transportation industry navigation system gps technology then computers and electronics cell phones mobiles television in medical system biosensors storing measurement then in entertainment purpose embedded systems that is washing machine uh, telephone microwave oven led buzzers then office automation and publications then communication purpose right satellite television railway reservation then uh, different uh, area network so everywhere microprocessor is used so basically this is a part of our life and our uh, daily routine right so everywhere this thing is available so this is just a summary of today's session so microprocessor basically used in laptop or in computer system we and other where generally microprocessor with microcontroller is used so these are the applications like we do the web browsing photo editing create documents simulation mathematical calculation gaming so for these are the applications of microprocessor and microprocessor is generally 32 bit and 64 bit nowadays and this is a clock speed 1 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz then the the space is 512 mb up to 32 gb okay this is a range different microprocessor are placed up into this range then rom memory is 128 gb up to 2 tb nowadays uh, memory is available in tb format and we have to also connect different usb and different uid connection with microprocessor so okay so this is all about in today's session hope so everyone understood it thank you <coughs>